Enterprise content management for IBM can solve many different business challenges. Today we will focus on the capabilities for advanced case management and how when coupled with IBM Content Navigator they can be used for opening new policies within the insurance industry. In today's video, the Focus Insurance Services new account opening solution has been enhanced to assess rider requirements, with the goal being to mitigate the risk associated with these new policies. Carly Adams is a new account specialist responsible for opening the new policy, while Dave Inman is a new policy specialist working specifically with commercial clients. Behind the scenes, Paula Small, the business analyst, has redefined and enhanced the new account opening solution to include this assessment. We begin with Carly reviewing and validating the new applicant's identity prior to assessing the risk in the new policy. She then splits the case in order to complete the processing of the new account in a timely manner. Carly reviews her in-basket and sees that several high-priority new applicant work items await her action. Carly selects the first work item. Carly reviews the case information, noting that applicant identity validation information is missing. Prior to contacting the applicant to validate identity, Carly searches the Focus Insurance Services repository for identity information. Carly has completed an advanced search based on the applicant's social security number and search results show that a driver's license for the applicant has been found in the repository. Carly adds the driver's license directly into the case file. We see that she has a wide range of additional actions that she could take in working with this document. Carly reviews the driver's license. Viewing capabilities enable her to annotate comments directly on the image. Upon completing identity validation, Carly was returned to her in-basket where, based on the new solution enhancements, she has received a new task to assess the rider requirements for this policy application. By using a company-generated, form-driven checklist and defined business rules, background information has automatically been retrieved from the company repository. This content has been used to identify additional risk and rider requirements. This information will be added to the case as supporting documentation and a new policy specialist will be automatically assigned. With the assessment completed and reviewed, Carly adds a comment to the case documenting that the case will be split for processing. Splitting the case enables Carly to complete opening of the new policy while initiating a new longer running case to assess additional rider requirements based on this application. Carly reviews case content and selects to have these documents included in the newly created split case. Carly utilizes the case visualizer capability to review the status of her work activities and the opening of the new policy. Carly does one final review of the case history and completes processing of the case. After ensuring identity validation, Carly completed an assessment for rider requirements for the new policy holder and proceeded to split the case for the new policy specialist. But how did she get here? Let's look at the business analyst, Paula Small. Paula is responsible for the Commercial Line's new account opening solution. As such, she has used IBM Case Builder to define the new account opening solution that is currently in place. With the new initiative to better manage risk, she has enhanced the solution to include an assessment for rider requirements. So let's see at a high level what she's done. To enhance the process, Paula selects the new account opening solution, one of the many case solutions the company has created. IBM Case Builder enables Paula to use a step-by-step -step approach to edit the solution. She could deploy and test her enhancements to a sandbox environment prior to handing it over for full deployment to a staging or production environment. IBM Case Builder provides tabs for each of the different parts of the solution. Tabs include properties, roles, in baskets, document types, pages, and case types. Paula defines and adds the new policy specialist role to the new account opening solution. One of the aspects of the design environment for IBM Case Builder is that Paula is able to define and customize the user interface based on user role. This enables her to maximize her knowledge worker's productivity. Here we see that specific properties have been added to the in-basket for the new policy specialist. In completing her enhancements for the rider requirements assessment, Paula has dynamically defined new business rules using straightforward if-then-else business logic as part of the process and workflow definition. By using the task manager, Paula is able to define and specify required and discretionary tasks that are part of the solution. Paula adds new preconditions policy value as part of the new task being defined. 
Here we can see that Paula has successfully added the newly required Assess Rider Requirements task as part of the solution. From here, she has defined the workflow, properties, etc. associated with this new task, committed those changes, and proceeded with deployment. By using IBM Case Builder, Paula has implemented the enhancements required for the new account specialist to assess rider requirements as part of the new account opening solution. So let's take a look at the new policy specialist's split case created earlier. Dave is a new policy specialist. He begins by reviewing new policy holder information contained in the case or located in company repositories. Based on policy holder discussion, he reviews supporting documentation in order to add new tasks required. Upon completion, he processes updates to the case. Dave, using his iPad, sees a number of new work items awaiting his action. He opens the work item for Karen Grant, the new policy holder, which he received as part of the split case from the new account specialist. Upon opening the case, Dave sees a summary of case information and a set of documents which he will review. He starts with the checklist assessment document that was automatically added to the case. Dave completes a quick review of the Assess Rider Requirements checklist before proceeding. Prior to contacting the client, Dave initiates an advanced search for any related cases using policyholder information to guide the search. Dave's search returns several related cases for this policyholder. He reviews the case history for each of these related cases. Based on the wealth of policyholder knowledge he has gained, Dave contacts the policyholder and confirms the need for a site inspection. Needing guidance for the site inspection requirements, Dave searches for reference information stored within the company repository where various reference documents are organized and maintained. Dave locates the guideline document that has the information he needs. Directly from here he can perform many action items. He opens the document to view the contents. Straight from within the web client, Dave views the document via the Zero Footprint Document Viewer without having to wait for download times or going through the process of getting additional software Dave is able to get the information he needs straight from within the web client. Dave has completed his review of the site inspection requirements guideline and proceeds to add a new ad hoc task to request a site inspection. Dave completes processing of this new task assigning it to a site inspector and adds this task to the case. Prior to processing, Dave does a final review of the case via the History tab. He sees all the comments and actions, including the new ad hoc task, included as part of the case. He completes his review and completes processing. In today's video, we've seen how a new account specialist and a new policy specialist used enhancements in the new account opening solution to increase their policy holders' satisfaction and better manage the risk to their business. For more information, please contact IBM. Thank you.